are you doing here? You're interrupting an ongoing investigation. You got a name? Zarek. And now that that's settled, you can leave. If anyone has to go, it's you. I'm here at Arissa's request. Arissa? That changes things. We're on the same team then. I guess we'll both be searching for whoever's behind the destruction of the silo. Arissa never mentioned you. That makes sense. Alexander Azok gave me the assignment. He wants to step up the investigation so he and Commander Arissa are working in parallel to solve this one quickly. But I'm about at the limit of what I can do alone. How about we cooperate? All right, we'll work together. Excellent. I've already gathered some information. And what have you found out so far? So far, I've found no indication of Skibor's involvement. This accommodation is not significantly different from the others. Same furniture, same equipment. With one exception, the safe. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to open it yet. Well, if your arms are like wet noodles, it's no wonder. You need more than sheer brawn to deal with this thing. But you'd also need a certain degree of intelligence to realize that. I levered off a locking mechanism designed to prevent intruders from entering a code. Trouble is, I don't know the damn code. I found an audio log that might give us a clue. Respect. I must have missed that. But what makes you think it contains the code? Because it involves a random series of numbers. What were those numbers? 10, 32, 13, 57, 19, 48, 23. But I've got a feeling that the message is incomplete. Not random. These are times. And I know what numbers are missing. How the hell could you? These are the exact times Skibor received his Elex rations. It was my job to calculate them for him. The missing number is 14, and I'm pretty sure that if the other three numbers don't do the trick, the last one will open the door. Check it out, then we'll know if I was right. Huh, okay. Never mind. what Zarek thinks. Skibor's safe is open. So, what was in it? Cleric clothing. Does that mean anything to you? No. It raises a lot more questions. But I want to take a closer look. There must be some kind of clue in there. No. I'm keeping them. I thought we were working together. Besides, you did me a big favor. It's time I reciprocated. And what does the clothing have to do with it? If you want to improve your standing among the Alps, you'll need to make an impression. If I take the stuff to Orissa and talk up how important your role was, your reputation at the depot will improve dramatically. As a scout and emissary of Azok, my word carries some weight. All right, here you go. Hmm, interesting. Huh? What have you found? Traces of Elix, and there shouldn't be any. Skibor's rations were specially packed, and he consumed them with the seal intact. Really? Why? It was necessary to maintain the change he was going through. You accompanied Skibor to the depot, right? Yeah, so what? Did you get a chance to look at his stuff on the way over? Did he take any Elex with him? Elex that wasn't sealed? Yeah. Before I went into the depot, he gave me some. Weird. This whole thing is becoming increasingly complicated. In any case, we should report our find. Arissa's bound to be tearing her hair out already. 
I got this one. Follow me. That was good. Commander Arissa, the investigations at Skibor's quarters have been completed. Then go run to Azok or get the hell out of my way. It's not you I want to report from. I think it's imperative that I present the results. That's gonna have to wait. I need to talk with the man next to you. Why are you working with one of Azok's scouts? You weren't instructed to do that. Zarek was in Skibor's quarters before me. I... That is a lie. I arrived just in time to stop him from destroying important evidence. Are you sure that's what I was about to do? His reaction speaks for itself. The best thing would be to remove him from the depot. Oh yeah, you'd really like that, wouldn't you? Quiet! What evidence are you talking about? I found a cleric's uniform in Skibor's safe. I also found out he was dealing Elex illegally. His supplier is standing in front of you, by the way. The situation is clear. Skibor was a double agent and Jax was his accomplice. The situation is I'm about to kick your ass. Enough! I'm interested in facts, not allegations. Go to Azok immediately and await further orders. But... Dismissed! Yes, Commander. I expect you to carry out my orders to the letter this time. No more complications. Zarek's trying to set me up. You see that, right? I'm not interested in your petty shit. You don't understand what's at stake, do you? You know what happens if the depot falls? If these endless attacks break our morale? We're barely holding against the invaders as it is. Without our resistance, it's not just Ignodon that will fall. Everything will. The security of this base guarantees everyone's safety, including yours. I did what you wanted. What else do you want? I want you to stay on the case. Zarek's approach is flawed. He's unfocused and jumps to the wrong conclusions. The purpose of the attack. Who's behind it? We need to know exactly what happened. Whether or not Skibor was in possession of illegal Elix is insignificant compared to our larger problems. If people keep putting obstacles in my way, we're gonna get nowhere. You will manage. You managed to find a lead before. With that in mind, I'm ordering that your cooperation be continued. You'll use your vast experience and go to the clerics under Zarek's command. If Skibor really was a double agent, we'll find some evidence of that at their base. Understood. I'll find out if the clerics are involved. Together. Zarek will be keeping an eye on you, you keep an eye on him. Guard! As long as Jax remains in the depot, you will not leave his side. He is to set off immediately with Zarek for the clerics. Yes, Commander. I don't need a fucking babysitter. And I don't need any more complications. Get out of here. Go and talk to Zarek. You heard the Commander. Let's go. Hmm, <clears throat> well... All right. So we meet again. Yeah, so what? You owe me a goddamn explanation. And you're in my way. Did you think I was gonna let you run that number on Arissa? Oh, you messed with the wrong guy, motherfucker. Give it a rest with your pathetic threats. Just concentrate on your mission. Mission? Arissa ordered us to infiltrate the clerics. Has she lost her fucking mind? Watch your tongue, Scout. I don't like it any more than you do. Ugh. Having to stand by a traitor and a murderer. 
You don't like it, take it up with Orissa. I've had enough of your shit anyway. You know as well as I do that it's more than your life's worth to defy her orders. Did she say anything else? Yeah. That you're in command of the mission. Nothing else would have made sense. Get your gear in shape before we leave. I won't be sharing ammo with you on the way. Once you've got everything, meet me at the south exit. My work is done. Our safety depends on your success, remember that. Does this mean I'm finally rid of you? It means you're supposed to get stuck in. Go get your gear and get the hell out of here. Whoop. Hey, pal. You got a half ration for a poor E9? Again? You hit me up the other day. Yeah, I remember, of course, yeah. I'm just trying to get a stash together for, you know, if push comes to shove. So you got something for me now? Here, take it. Oh, thank you so much. Not too bad. Ready? Now are you gonna tell me why you tried to pull that shit with me and Orissa? I had my reasons. Oh yeah? Listen, the only thing we've got in common is the mission. Nothing else. If I can't trust you, our cooperation is worthless. I just can't stand you. Is that clear? Anything else? Am I supposed to just take that from you? Take it or leave it. You've certainly taken the joy out of our triumph. We could have been kings of the world. Instead, everyone who's ever mattered to me is rotting in the ground. For me, that's reason enough to expose your oh-so-special efficiency for what it really is. Nonsense. What did you want from the Collectors? Answers. Did they have anything to do with the attack? Don't worry your empty little head about it. Let's get this over with. All right. Let's get out of here then. So, what's your plan? You'll find out soon enough. Until then, you follow my instructions and shut up. You know the cleric space of operations? Yeah. Then your value to this mission has just increased. Why? I'm making statements, not opportunities for your stupid questions. Come on, move it! Crappy fortifications. Practically anyone could walk through here in those days. This way. We'll go around the side of the mountain. Trying to cross it is far too dangerous. What's up there that's so dangerous? All sorts of things. No matter how many times our raiding parties have tried to take the mountain, 
it always turns out badly. So let's just avoid any confrontation, okay? Come on, move it, and keep it quiet. You don't need to stomp around like a rot boar. Stay close to my side and watch out for any moving shadows. I don't want any surprises. Why are we stopping? Just a feeling. We need to get the lay of the land. I'll go on ahead. You follow a short way behind. Keep a low profile. Watch yourself. A troll makes less noise than you. You don't say. What is it now? Two clerics up ahead. Dead by the looks of it. No problem. I'll go ahead. That's good. There's a body missing. What makes you say that? These two are scouts. They move in threes. What the fuck were the clerics doing here? Looking for resources. We've been eating into their territory, so they've been struggling for supplies. But it was a necessary move for us. War is pointless. It's always unnecessary. What the hell has gotten into you? Can't you see the military value? Ignadon is of great strategic importance. The clerics would never be able to defend this region against these invaders. And you're sure of that? They couldn't stop us. How could they stop them? When you look at it like that, they're lucky we drove them off. Whatever. Let's focus on finding the third scout. What do you hope to gain from this? Confirmation of my hunch that whoever did this is a completely new enemy. So you're gonna help me follow up on this lead or you need another lesson? After you. Not so fast. Take whatever you can use from here. The attackers had no interest in equipment. We can take advantage of that. I've already got what I need. Good. Let's move out. It can't have been long since the attack. The trail's still fresh. Dead. That's what I thought. His injuries were probably too severe. You've dealt with the clerics before. What led to their collapse? Not that I mind, of course, I'm just interested. Their faith was their downfall. Faith? I'll never understand the madness behind that word. There's nothing more we can do here. Let's... Ambush! Sound! That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready!
Interesting fighting style. Looks like you haven't forgotten everything. That's high praise, coming from you. Just stating facts. If we hadn't beaten back the invaders, their plan might have worked. What plan? The trap was for the clerics. The loss of their scouts wouldn't have gone unnoticed for very long. Their rear guard wouldn't have survived the ambush. They would have been destroyed one by one. But we were an unknown variable. That's the only reason it didn't work. But let's clear the way and do it on the double. They've underestimated our strength once. I don't think they'll do it again. Caracas is unsafe terrain. That incident with the strange one shows us all too clearly. We'll have time to rest when we reach the cleric's base. But until then, let's go for it. going. Just so we understand each other, we don't use violence against the clerics, all right? No matter what problems we encounter, getting hold of information has absolute priority. Why are you telling Get ready! The number of skirmishes doesn't seem to be dropping off. Over there! Rock dragons! We can handle them. I thought you'd react like that. Follow me. Well... What's that thing I prefer these creatures to that purple horde. Their attacks are predictable, and that makes them a lot easier to fight. It's a flaw in their instincts. And now, the rock dragons are finished. Yeah, but I still feel something that could be described as dissatisfaction. Didn't I deal with those critters fast enough? We're supposed to clear up the big things, yet we keep stumbling over the small things. I have to optimize our route. Fortunately, I know of an alternative that should speed up our progress. And that would be? You'll see. Now let's go. Our goal is drawing closer. Now for my alternative. We go through the mountain. 
This path should be relatively free of any danger. At least it was the last time I tried it. A shortcut? A life insurance policy. Inside the mountain will be safe from further incidents. Let's hit the road. But stay close. Better safe than sorry. Look, these islands are nice and all, but the stench of troll shit is making my eyes water. Let's get the hell out of here. Facilities like this often end up as connecting roads for primitive means of transportation. Luckily, we elves don't need archaic human devices. You do realize we're on foot, don't you? I prefer a raider, but circumstances don't allow it. Look out! Someone's coming! Get in position! What are you doing here? You deal with it. My expertise with people. Who are you and where are you from? Who are you? I'm Veronica. Now answer my question. We're gonna go see the clerics. Really? That's so? A human with an alb? Hmm. Not every day you see that. Buzz will be delighted to meet ya. Buzz? Who's that? Our leader. And you're in luck. He just got back. We're a band of traveling merchants. We use this place as a base of operations. Usually we just do business on the road, but since we got guests, we can let them stock up on equipment here. Don't worry, we don't judge. Not even against Alps. You'll find we're very accepting of everyone. Tell your companion and then follow me. Can we trust her? I don't trust her any more than I trust you. Which would mean no. You wanted to go this way. That hasn't changed either. Let's keep going then. Good. I'll keep a low profile. You go first. Not too bad. Go on then. What's the hold up? You're the first guest here. Things are a bit messy, but whatever. Where are you from? Most of us were a part of Baxter's old gang. But then he went legit and started playing Mayor of the Crater, so we left. We didn't want any part of his junkyard utopia in the Crater, so we left and came here. Who told you about this place? It was written on some paper from the Old World. It took us a while to figure out what we'd be dealing with here. Then it all happened super fast. Pack up our shit and chase the vermin. That's pretty much it. Welcome to our humble home. Buzz will be back there. Go talk to him. Looks like you're a long way from home, friends. Pleased to meet you. I'm Buzz. I run this little sanctuary for wayward souls. Now, what can we do for you? Nothing. We just want to pass through. Now that's far from nothing, man. That's a tall order. The safe passage isn't free. There's a hefty price on it. So the question is, can you afford it or not? What's the going rate? Let's make a deal. Your friend here is pretty quiet, but he's got something I could make use of. If he's willing to part with his armor, I'll let you pass. Oh, it's a generous offer. I recommend you take it. Because you two won't get out of here otherwise. Not with all your limbs, that is. <laughs> We're not.
not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with us. Are you trying to scare me, Candy Ass? Now you're full of shit. Wanna bet? Yeah, I'm not as dumb as I look. But neither are you. Look, I've got a business to run and a reputation to maintain. I gotta clean out your pockets. It's the least I can do. And you've got a whole lot of shards in those pockets. So make me an offer I can't say no to, and I'll let you pass. If you can't bear to part with some shards, you'll be digging your own grave. Here. Now tell your lackeys to back off. Okay. That's a good deal. I'll take it. Even if I would have liked the armor better. Uh, not much I can do about it, though. I'm sure we'll catch another album on our web sooner or later, huh? So we have your word that you'll let us go? Yeah, just this once. But if I see either one of you again, you'll be shot down before you know what hit you. Keep that in mind when you're leaving the tunnel. Now get the fuck out of my face. Was he satisfied with the elixir? Sure looks that way. I would have preferred to eliminate him and his gang. We're done here. Let's move out. Last. Fresh air. Remind me not to use this shortcut again for a while. I'll keep it in mind. The clerics are within range, but first we need to clarify something. Why did you take my side? After all, it wasn't about your armor. If I were you, I would have met the Reaver's terms without hesitation. If I'd handed it over, you would have never shut up about it. And there's nothing more pathetic than a grown man whining. I understand. Let's concentrate on our mission again. It's not far now.
We're at our destination. The cleric's base lies before us. This is where we part ways. Thank fuck, finally. Your burgeoning joy is premature. Since the clerics are hardly likely to let me into their base, you'll take over that part. Listen, I found an ID card in Skibor's cleric uniform. Show it to the guard at the gate. It's a checkpoint. They'll certainly be able to do something with it. Depending on how they react, you adjust your behavior. Remember, our goal is to find out if Skibor was responsible for the attack on the clerics. Consider it done. Whatever happens, don't let the clerics know on whose behalf you're traveling. If you're exposed, it could compromise our mission and the trail goes cold. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Keep to yourself the news that those scouts are dead. You only play that trump card when it's needed. What can you tell me about this? Where did you get it? I found it. Now answer my question. It does look familiar, but I want to make absolutely certain there's no mix-up on my part. I need to confirm that the name on this card is the same one I'm thinking of. And to do that, I need a particular log from the production hall. Bring it to me, and then we'll talk. What exactly is in that production lock? You really want to spend all day going back and forth about this? Just go and get it. Talk to Kino. He works there. He'll know where to find it. Hagen sent me. You're supposed to give me a production log. Uh, right, of course. Well, good thing you came to me. Without my key, you would have turned the place upside down and never found it. Uh, it's in my chest. As a precaution, don't want anyone with sticky fingers picking it up and getting it all... You know. Great. Anything else? Give the key to Hagen, as well as the production log. I'll get it back from him later. Gotta do a bust up. I've got it. Now let's see if Hagen can cough up any useful information. Yeah, I heard a rumor too. People forget to just shut up some. We didn't receive a reply, sir. The scouts remain MIA. And the search party? Returned without success. Damn it. That is a direct violation of my orders. They will move out again at 0600 hours tomorrow. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Dismissed. Are you all right? You seem a little, uh, frustrated. You think? Most of those I command would rather shirk their duty than carry it out. Our scouts have gone AWOL, but <laughs> that's not your concern. Did you get the production log? Here. Good. I'll put that straight in the trash where it belongs. Now, answer me this. Other than the production log, did you, uh, take anything else away with you? A exit from Kino's chest, for example? Yes, you caught me. Congratulations. Good. 
Lying wouldn't have saved you. Smart of you not to even attempt it. My guards will now show you out of the castle. We don't harbor thieves here. So, I'll keep what I know about the ID card to myself. Unless you have, uh, something else to say in your defense? I know what happened to your scouts. What? How? Out with it! They're dead. Every last one of them. Killed by the invaders. I don't believe you. You're trying to fool me again. Want me to lead you to their corpses? They're lying on the border to Ignodon. Then it is true. That's where they were dispatched to. Does that mean we're even? No. But I will show you some gratitude. I'll reduce your penalty to the amount of Alexit you stole from Kino's chest. Now, will you tell me about the ID card? Of course. I'm a man of my word. This card was given to a man who spent some time here a while ago. Like you, he came in from the outside. He settled quickly here, knew his stuff when it came to technology. That's why I assigned him to Kino. A big mistake. It wasn't long before he stole from us and then disappeared. What did he take? Metal mostly, and a handful of screws. No idea what he was planning. I'm hoping you can tell me a little more. He used the things he stole to make a bomb. A bomb? That low-life sack of hammered shit. Just so we're clear, we had nothing to do with any bomb. If you find this man, send him to me. He deserves to face my wrath. I could send you a piece of him, would that do? Sending all of him would be almost impossible. Huh. In that case, forget it. But I do have another request. If, on your travels, you happen to run into anyone with leadership potential, please, send them my way. As you know, our forces are being stretched extremely thin. We need reinforcements, and soon. I would view such a service as a personal favor. I'll keep it in mind. That's all I ask. Did you know that some Reavers have set up camp nearby? That's not possible. I would have received word. That depends on how good they are at hiding. The way into their base is on the northern flank of the mountain. You're talking about the old tunnel system. I knew someone or something had settled there. I assumed it was just some local wildlife. Have they been dealt with? It's still a work in progress. I can't spare anyone to go after those degenerates right now. Nor can I justify assigning anyone. Not like the Reavers are exactly storming our walls. But if you want to go play pest control, be my guest. I would show you the appropriate gratitude. Over here! And? Were you able to prove that the clerics were involved in the attack? No. It looks like Skibor just stole their metal. That he deceived not only us, but them as well. Yeah. We won't get anywhere with the clerics. What did you find out? Not much, I thought. But thanks to your information, it could look different. Did you run into an outlaw dealer in there? Not that I know of. No big deal. Why do you ask? Unlike you, I haven't found a safe way in. But out here I observed two outlaws approaching the castle. Which sounds uninteresting, but may well have something to do with our case. They were sent to sell metal to the clerics. How the hell do you know that? I overheard them. So let's sum up the results. Here's the way I see it. Skibor takes advantage of his position and steals the metal. He goes to the outlaws and gets the bomb made. And all the metal that was left over, they wanted to hawk to the clerics again. Not exactly subtle, but certainly cunning. 
So the outlaws are our next target. Exactly. We still don't know how Skibor smuggled the bomb or his motivation. But I'm sure we'll find answers in the crater. If you've got business here, get to it now. Otherwise, we'll leave.